Um, I'm able to play Game Boy games on it. <laughs> okay, so this team seems like it absolutely just hates Grim Snarl Thunderous on lead. Uh, Incineroar also seems to go crazy. And I think for my last Mon, Mewtwo is not optimal here. It's also not bad. Like, I, I mean, maybe I could... Mm. Let me think. I, I think I definitely want to lead off Thunderous the more I look at it. Uh, yeah, I'll bring Zacian actually. Like, cause Thunderous can deal with the Thunderous can deal with the the Moltres. I'll be fine. Also, the camera is now significantly closer to my face due to the way that my desk is laid out. Let me see if I can push that back. Let me know if the game's too loud or too quiet or something. I have to get my audio balanced again. Hi, Moxie. What do you think of Thunder Cage Alecki? I'm currently using it. Does it have potential or is the accuracy that holds it back? I think Thunder Cage Alecki is not as good as Thunderbolt, but Thunder Cage has been used from time to time. Not for any particular reason, just because it's, like, cool, I suppose. Uh, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for the fake out on this. I'm not going to let him get a Tailwind off. Or at least I'm going to try not to let him get a Tailwind off. He might. Uh, but yeah. Is your Zacian Calc to survive anything? Uh, your super special defense set? I forget what it was. I've just been spamming this set on the ladder since like day one of Series 10. And Series 10 is the longest of all the formats so far. So I've forgotten at this point. I need to remind myself. At this point, it's just a set where I'm like, does it live it? Uh, probably. That's it. Uh, I think Thunder Cage, though. It, it has its usage. It's, it's probably going to be better once Dynamax is gone in, like, the next format or whatever. All right, hopefully this will KO. It's, it's usually, like, a roll. I know I could have gone for, um... Uh, yeah, I know I could have gone for Max Lightning, but... I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't like going for Max Lightning in that situation. Because even if it doesn't KO, I can always just go for another Max Airstream and speed tie with their Tailwind. All right, cool. We confirmed physical. Uh, also, probably choice banded by the damage. Let's go for a reflect, and I'm just going to airstream again. Yeah, the damage feels very choice bandy. Which also might explain why they didn't Dynamax this turn. Do you think there would be a Series 13 as a filler for Gen 9 release? I think so. Typically right before the new game there's like a fun little what if format um actually is there I, sometimes there is it's usually right after worlds so i think right after worlds we'll get something like that it's right before like the next season usually like the competitive season caloric shadow and cinema urshifu would be a problem for two of your members yeah but i mean like that's what it's like just playing against those pokemon there's always, there are always issues. <laughs> you just kind of accept that as you play. Thoughts on women? I think women are phenomenal people. Whether they're, you know, just chilling or doing other stuff beyond chilling. I love women. I don't know what that means. Chillin' or doing stuff beyond chillin'. I was trying to expand on it, and I'm like, what am I doing? I'm talking about people. Why am I... <laughs> How do I expand on that? They're people. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't protect here. Thoughts on anime? Uh, there are, like, three good anime. And I'm not gonna say which ones. Let me think. So... I'm probably going to lose my Thunny, but I don't know how much I care at this point. I think what I'd like to do is keep my Grim, so I'm going to go Incineroar here. Uh, and I will attempt a Max Lightning onto you. <laughs> Jojo, I'm not going to spoil anything. There are three good anime. Is One Piece on the list? Dude, I don't know.
There's the Behemoth Blade. Looks like it's going into Incineroar. Which is actually great news. Um, because after that Intimidate, I should live whatever the Zekrom wants to go for behind Protect. Also, I'm just faster. Nice. And now I have Fake Out and Stuff. I'm Stuff, by the way, if you didn't know I'm Stuff. Yep, we live. Cool. Alright, uh, let's go for the fake out onto you. And there's not much of a reason to target the Zekrom here. We're just going to go for the wild charge in case they decide not to protect this thing. They don't protect it. Cool, we're going to get some pretty good damage off on it now. And their tailwind turn should not run out this turn, but next. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. Like, that's, that's really good. Because I can just fake it out and go for... Do I want to go for a Snarl, or... There's a Worm Wind. That is pretty decent damage. Uh, I'm gonna get my Grim Snarl in and just go for Fake Out. <laughs> Dude, it'd be, it'd be so funny just this Zacian gets to do nothing this whole game. I think Fake Out in the Snarl would KO and it also covers a possible weird move on the Zekrom. Um, the only thing is I don't know if Fake Out will KO here. They're also Choice Locked into Fusion Bolt, which could be kind of annoying. Maybe I Fake Out the Zekrom. I think I Fake Out the Zekrom. Because, uh, they should be going for a Behemoth Blade into my, into my Grim Snarl here. Alright, cool, I got the play right. One would assume I did, at the very least. Nice. Uh, this is a little bit of a risky play. Burn, please? Yes! <laughs> I was going to say, if I get that burn, that'd be huge. Um... Yeah, uh... There's, there's not really a reason to hard switch anything out here. I'm just going to go ahead and go for Spirit Break and Parting Shot on the on the Zekrom, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's whatever. Uh, I, I only basically need to get my Zacian on the field for free, and I'm good. Fusion Bolt into... Looks like Grim Snarl. Incineroar. That's fine. And we live. Oh my god. Let's see if he doubled. He did double. That's fine. That's fine, actually. So this will put it in range of um, this will put it in range of play rough, and also that thing dropped its attack stat or it dropped its defense stat. Wait, what? This dude was policy. This dude was policy. Excuse me, you were policy. If I miss this, I'm gonna be so upset. If I miss this play rough, I'm gonna be very upset. No way, I'm losing the weakness policy Zekrom. Objectively, the worst item for it. Objectively. Like, trust me, choice specs is better. Avo, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, when Kato shows up, let me know. Spirit break here. Sakram's gonna protect. Uh, it's fine by me. Close combat, uh, that's not KOing me. It's not gonna come close. In fact, I'd be a little bit concerned if I were them. <laughs> also, not choice banned. That was just huge damage for no reason. Alright, um... Let me think. What is What is the only way I lose this game? They should be in range of a Spirit Break. Like, that's pretty low health. I am at minus one. But I should be fine just to target the Zekrom here. Yeah, I kind of have to target it here. Because if the, if the Zacian protects, I just lose. 
Yep, because he's going to be faster, because I'm bulky. Oh, I definitely win. If I if I connect, I definitely win. That's a scary sentence. That, that That's a scary sentence. There we go. All right, good game. Because I still have my reflect up. I do still have my reflect up, right? Okay, we're good. <laughs> Uh, let's go for the B-Blade. Protect is technically the right play. Nope. A Behemoth Blade, they have to crit me. Nice. Good game. Uh, hey Marcos, haven't been able to catch a stream lately because I got an internship in autom uh, automation engineering, but now I'm watching your stream while taking data. Hope Roto Partner's been going well. I actually, update, I haven't streamed in like two weeks because I was graduating. So, you probably caught the last stream. You probably caught the most recent stream. And update on the road to partner, I've already applied. I already qualified to apply, but I messed up the application, and I said I was from Afghanistan because it was the first option in the list, and it, for some reason, defaulted to that, and I only caught the error as I clicked, like, the send button. And because of that, because the response time from Twitch depends on your region, they think I'm from Afghanistan, and it has been, like, three-ish three weeks. It's been, like, three-ish weeks since I applied and still... Still, no still no reply from Twitch. That's a little bit annoying. They actually really, really don't like Mewtwo either. I might lead off with Mewtwo just to ruin their day. I don't even. I, I honestly don't even think I bring the Zacian. I think Zacian does bad here. So let's go in, uh, Grim Snarl, Mewtwo, Thunderous, and Cineroar, and that'll do the job. That'll do the job. I miss Galarian Moltres. Listen, Eveltal Jr. is still just fine on certain teams. It's just hard to find a place for it. You have to go out of your way to make it. G-Max Pikachu and it's P-Cry. Just imagine if, like, Pikachu just... <laughs> you know, you always assume that it, like, it was short for Pikachu when he goes P. Imagine one day someone G-Maxes their Pikachu and he just goes, Piss. <laughs> Just big, deep voice. Piss. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny, actually. In my opinion. What is it? My buddy said it very well. As you get older, uh, poop jokes don't go away. They just get better. And I felt that when he said that. I felt that. Um, What do I want to do here? I think I just want to go for the KO on the Whimsicott. Let's go for the Max Mindstorm and a Fake Out. I don't think this will KO. Truth be told, Whimsicott's got a pretty decent special defense stat. Uh, but I'm just going to deal with it, okay? And I'm not Life Orb. I'm friggin' Expert Belt. Pikachu is my least favorite Pokemon to fight against, but amongst my most favorite Pokemon to cheer on. This is completely true. If Paralysis wasn't, like, a chance to get fully paralyzed, G-Max Pikachu would be a 100% good guy Pokemon. But it's sort of like... It's like an anti-hero Pokemon right now. Alright, let's see if this manages to KO. Probably not. What if it's expert or what if it's eject button? I'd be so happy if it was. Alright. Uh this might do it. Maybe. I mean that did quite a bit. Alright, we do KO. That's pretty huge, actually. Um I shouldn't drop to anything unless it's like flash cannon blastoise and he just annihilates my Grim Snarl. Uh, but we prevented Tailwind, and from this point on we're gonna be among the fastest Pokemon on the field. Since, you know, we got base 130. I'm going to say 30%. Uh, yeah, roughly, roughly. After the, you know, the chip damage will be a lot higher, though. And I can tell you right now, there's no way a Behemoth Bash knocks us out. Oh, it's Pikachu. Oh, no, it's Pikachu, guys. 
All right, uh, time to do some math. I'm gonna go for the light screen. Really doubt it goes off though. Uh, max overgrowth, 130 times two, 260. Max mine storm, we got 1.3, 1.5. I'm just gonna go for the mine storm. I think it's a little higher because terrain. 1.3 times 1.5, yeah. We don't get faked out, so that's really nice. We should survive another turn due to that. All right, that does about half. If we survive... Oh, we get nuzzled. Never mind. I say, if we survive this turn, we're in a pretty good spot. Also, the in-game volume isn't too high, is it? I, don't, I just want to make sure. I just want to confirm for all my homies out there that it's not too high. I should definitely go for a reflect this turn, even if it means losing my Mewtwo. And... Uh, let's just get rid of Pikachu. Let's just get rid of Pikachu. Yeah. In-game volume is great. Sounds good. Oh, wow, we're getting rid of Pikachu. <laughs> I didn't expect him to protect there. That didn't make much sense. Unless we get fully paralyzed here, we're good. He's gonna go for Encore? Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just gonna switch out now, but okay. Alright, no full para. Huge. Goodbye, Pikachu. You better be Light Ball. Alright, there. I was gonna say, if it's Sash, I'm gonna be real upset. Okay, take bets. ho or uh, the the dog? Shield dog. It's ho -Oh. Okay, so we win. Check this out. They're never going to see it coming. They're never going to see this coming. They're about to get ancient powered. This better work. I mean, if I if I get outsped and lose my Mewtwo, I'm be a little bit upset. Truth be told, I'm going to be a little bit... I'm probably going to get outsped. Like, I'm, I'm saying this fully expecting to lose my Mewtwo here. Uh, but I still want an Ancient Power and see how much it does. Alright, let's get this Intimidate off. Still have Reflect off. Let's see. I can't Protect because I have four attacks, but... It's the price you gotta pay to use Mewtwo. Oh, he's White Herb. So he's Shell Smash? Doesn't make too much sense otherwise. Alright, yeah, we go down. That's fine. Oh, he is Shell Smash. Okay. Um, I don't care. I, I don't care. Which dual restricted uh, Pokemon format is your favorite? Listen, series... Uh, was it series 11? Which one was the one with no Dynamax? Because that one went crazy. That format went absolutely crazy. Alright, we're going to fake out the Ho-Oh here. It's flying. I always get comments on this. Don't You shouldn't fake out the, the flying type with Psychic Train. Listen, a lot of people always forget. If it's flying, you can fake out it with Terrain Up. If, if you're not touching the ground, the terrain doesn't affect you. Oh, he does have Protect. Okay, that's fine. We still have Fake Out here. Um, and I mean, I can just go Grim Snarl here and still go for the KO on the Blastoise. Weirdness disappears. I still have both my screens. Actually, maybe I just Parting Shot to be safe. I shouldn't lose my Incineroar here. Wild Charge you. No, not you. I almost misclicked. Yeah, Series 10 was my favorite because that's the only time in VGC history that we've been able... That's not KOing me. That we've been able to use, um, what's it called? Dude. 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 Don't you dare. Don't you dare win off of that. I'm calling the police if you win off of that. I will call the police if you win off of that. What was I going to say? Uh, that's the only time Rocky Helmet Lando's been meta. Alright. We just uh, fake out the... 
the Thunderous. Or we fake out the Blastoise. And hopefully we thaw here. Best mechanic in the game, guys. Freeze. The best mechanic in the game. Perfectly balanced. Definitely not like a broken thing. Alright. Wake up, Thunderous. Oh, wait. That's like in range of two fake outs. We might... Okay, yeah, we win anyways. I was gonna say, like, when Incineroar comes in, we win regardless. That's the thing. ho -Oh is like... Everyone thinks ho -Oh looks good on paper. And everyone wants ho -Oh to be good. But it's like... It's so mid, dude. Like, it feels like you're not using a Pokemon at times. It feels like you have, like, a, a please send in Incineroar button and you're just clicking it constantly. Let's see if he's weakness policy. I bet you he's weakness policy. If the white herb is on the, on the Blastoise, the weakness policy is on this thing. And... Nope. Okay. Wonder what the item is then. It's not leftovers. Uh, not berry. So we will never know. It's karate chop him to win. Chasha! And a karate chop. Dude, rest in peace karate chop. The funnest Pokemon move ever. Like, karate chop was like a real move in Pokemon. For a long time. And it was just a high crit like base, it was either base 50 or base 60 power move. Broken is Zacian. I think Zacian's a little broken. And it goes a lot, it, it tells a lot about like how balanced Pokemon can be as a game when the comment is, I think Zacian's a little broken. Because there's no doubt that it's broken. But I think it's only a little broken. Uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Thundee. And Zacian. I don't think... I mean, yeah, Incineroar is actually pretty good. Do I want to lead off Incineroar? I usually lead off Thundee because it, it makes... Or I usually lead off Grimmsnarl because it makes them think that I'm not going to fake out. I think I bring Zacian every time. Yeah. Incin is just unbalanced. I think it has too many tools, but I, I even then, I don't think it's, I don't think it's broken. Calyrex Shadow. I Calyrex Shadow, even even that, I don't think it's broken. I think it's an ability needs a nerf, because Unnerve is a it, Unnerve is is a broken ability on uh on like only it. Like only it can make Unnerve feel like a broken ability. I think it should just keep Grimne, to be honest. Grimne and like the other one, the Chilling Nay? That's that's what it's called, yeah. Ooh, okay. Um, how much do I care? Not, not a lot, actually. I can just fake out and go for this um, Max Mindstorm and KO the Whimsicott, and I'm still in a really good spot. And we saw in the last game it, it should KO? I, I I really don't know. It could have been like a badly trained Whimsicott, though. We're, we're not in Master Ball, obviously. And that's because I haven't played, like, at all this season. Something I need to do is I need to get a Wi-Fi... Not a Wi-Fi splitter. I need to get an Ethernet splitter and hook up my, my Switch to the Ethernet because right now it's on Wi-Fi and that's... I'm not used to having it be on Wi-Fi. It's, it's super annoying knowing that I can disconnect from a match because of that. 85% accurate. Yeah, there's no point in... in like, there's literally nothing that is immune to Glacial Lance, yet Precipice Blades, a move of, of similar power, has the accuracy nerf despite things being immune to it. Like, that, that's that's a huge oversight in my opinion. I think it should, it should be a little bit less accurate. There shouldn't be any Mon with 50% usage rate when there are 800 plus Mons. It doesn't matter how you balance the game, there's always going to be a Mon with a lot of usage rate. Zacian just happens to be the one that has 50% usage right now because, or maybe Incineroar, I don't know. I don't know which one you're referring to, but 
Zacian is, is, I would say, more of an issue than Incineroar because it has a tool that nothing else has. Incineroar's tools are spread out across a lot of other Pokemon, but Zacian having access to a free plus one on Switchin with a Steel-type move that does double damage to Dynamax Pokemon, like, that's, that's the real issue, in my opinion, in this format. Ooh, okay. Um, so we actually have a way of dealing with Groudon that you might not have thought of on the first time you might have seen this team. We actually uh, go for Max Phantasm into it, which might seem a little weird. You might be wondering, why Max Phantasm? Uh, basically, it's going to lower Groudon's defense stat, so in a couple of turns when Zacian comes in to KO the Groudon, it's pretty much guaranteed. Oh, you silly goose. We have Psychic Terrain up. I think Dynamax itself is is the real issue in Pokemon right now. It's such a weird mechanic. When you go back to not playing Dynamax, you'll be like, what is this? This is so weird. Why can't I double my HP? <laughs> People expected it to be used defensively way more often than it ended up being. Where are you going to work? I'd rather not name drop the company, but it's going to be in Massachusetts is, is my, my plan. Um, do I need a light screen at this point? Not really. Let's just spirit break you. Do you think Zacian Zamazenta will return in Gen 9? Yes, and you might find this weird and hard to believe. When Dynamax doesn't exist, they're actually worse. Like, like Zacian is much more balanced in a format where Dynamax does not exist. And the reason, the reason that is, is because um, it loses overall value. Zacian in itself hits as hard as it harder than a Dynamax Pokemon in a lot of situations, um, just by virtue of like having that move. And when Dynamax Pokemon don't exist in the field, you have more reason not to use Zacian. Not that there's ever like a true reason to not use it. Five ads in a row. I have no idea why that's happening. I'll try to tune it so it doesn't do that. Um, but yeah, wait, I I literally set it so that ads show up like once every 20 minutes so you get like a few ads every 20 minutes if you're not subscribed which isn't that bad in my opinion but i have no idea why it's that bad oh hey it's time to ancient power something i was wondering where the charizard was i was really wondering where the charizard was wasn't max overgrowth stronger than max mindstorm versus blastoise because of expert belt uh, it might have been. I didn't feel like doing the math. Um, but Expert Belt is... Is Expert Belt 1.2 1 1 or 1.3? I always forget. We had Terrain up, so I just ended up going with the Psychic move. Because I didn't feel like doing math. And honestly, it didn't really affect the endgame much. Groudon protects. He's like, I'm going to get you with my Charizard. And I'm like, no, you're not. Bam. Actually, this probably won't KO because of light screen, but no, it does. Okay, we're good. Can I get an Omni Boost? No? Alright. We haven't lost a Pokemon yet. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. I'm only talking about doubles when I'm talking about Zacian in that way. In in singles, of course Zacian's going to be busted. Uh, but the official format's doubles, so they could care less. Behemoth Bash? Yeah, I think Behemoth Bash needs to be reworked to be based off defense. Oh, he was weakness policy. You usually don't see Max Flare unless they're, um... What was it? You usually don't see Max Flare unless they're Assault Vest. Which Pokemon do you want to get noticed by regional results like Reshiram? Well, unfortunately, Rhinia's Sun isn't as good, so my counter team Mewtwo uh, isn't gonna do as well at a regional. <laughs> Uh, Rhinia Sun, like, is getting hard countered by everything at the moment, which is why it's probably going to drop a bit in usage in the coming months. It's never going to be bad, obviously. Rhinia Sun's always going to be goaded, but, um, as far as tournament usage, it's going to go down because of that. 
Like, you don't want to show up to a tournament and face only Rhinius on mirrors and and Rhinius on counters. Because you never... It's going to be very rare at this point at high-level play that you're going to face something that straight-up loses to Rhinius on. <laughs> uh, but... Yeah, no, it's something that I want to get noticed. Uh, I would say I would love for uh, Eternatus to pick up. Love Eternatus.